a motor account budget and uh, you know we uh, expected uh, no surprises and that's how it has come uh, one very good thing for the industry is there have not been any, any major new taxes imposed or tax rates that have been increased so we welcome that uh, also what we really appreciate is the government's intent statement there is a lot of focus on infrastructure reforms uh, on infrastructure building uh, structural reforms, development. Uh, the, actually, the Honorable Finance Minister has gone at great length to describe what is GDP. And she said government, governance, development and performance. So I think the intention of the government is very clear that they are focusing on ease of doing business, they are focusing on equal access and opportunities and they have focused on the right sectors. She went at great length explaining about agriculture, about youth empowerment, about women empowerment, uh, and the new education policy. I think all this fits very well for India as a nation. And I think uh, talking about Goa, where we are based, uh, there have been a couple of positive developments in the budget. One is on the tourism sector, where she talked a lot about uh, having innovative centers in tourism. And Goa could definitely take advantage. We have to see what the details of the scheme would be. But she talked about uh, interest-free loans. She talked about uh, attracting business conferences. And Goa, as you know, is already an international brand. And uh, Goa could probably enlarge, taking advantage of this, uh, enlarge its scope of tourism. And I think this is a great opportunity for Goa. She also talked about fisheries, where a lot of people are involved and engaged in fisheries in Goa. We need to look at, again, the fine print and see what uh, specific schemes for fisheries. But she talked about, uh, you know, uh, exports of seafoods uh, getting more uh, traction. And I think seafood exports have already doubled over the last few years. So that could be another big game changer for Goa. Uh, uh, th there is also mention of state uh, interest-free loans to states by the central government for infrastructure building. I think Goa has already got a lot of benefit of infrastructure building. You can see we've got two airports now. Uh, we have got two railways, Southwestern Railway and Railway uh, Konkan Railway. So I think if more investment goes into this, we've got a port, port connectivity. We are talking about multi-model connectivity. So I think you know we can Goa can take specific advantage of PM Gati Shakti reform uh, and uh, look at how we could build our infrastructure to be more robust so that Goan industry stands to benefit. And uh, so we welcome the budget all in all and we keenly look uh, sometime in the month of July for a more detailed and comprehensive budget. What about women empowerment? So there is uh, uh, a lot of emphasis given on Nari Shakti. I think uh, this is a great opportunity for women entrepreneurs in Goa and women professionals in Goa to take advantage of this uh, various schemes that the government is coming up with. Uh, and also basically doing an upskilling uh, for women in particular. So uh, I think, uh, you know, that's going in the right direction and the chamber welcomes. Sir, so do you think the budget will give a boost to startups in Goa? Definitely, because one is uh, the state government is already trying its level best to pitch Goa as a startup destination. And what we heard just from the Honorable FM is that the tax benefits of the startups will continue for another one year. So this is a great opportunity for startups. Uh, and Goa is liked as a place for them to set up their base here and pursue their businesses. The farmer for them. So there is, I think uh, the government has done a lot for agriculture and farming and the reform process as she says will continue. Uh, I think uh, crores of farmers have been included in the loan, uh, crores of farmers have been included in the, the farm cover that has been given uh, to protect them against any losses. She's talked about food security within the country, not only within the country but also to serve and uh, fuel the world's uh, requirement. So I think uh, agriculture has got a lot of traction in the budget and uh, we welcome uh, Rooftop solarization that also has been spoken. Yes, so that's a very interesting scheme. I think we need to study it for Goa and come back with specific suggestions. But yes, what it mentions is that uh, households can set up rooftop solar plants and sell the excess into the grid. So I think this makes a lot of sense and I think she, uh, you know, she also talked about 300 units being free uh, 
for I think uh, the middle income and the lower middle income. So I think all in all, this is uh, extremely healthy, and uh, you know, but we need to understand the nitty gritties and the technical feasibilities, and then pursue. Even the medical sector has been included. So medical sector, you know, we have Aishman Bharat, uh, and I think there is more. Uh, you know, uh, a girl child will now get free vaccination, cervical cancer vaccination. So I think uh, there is a focus on keeping fit and healthy and uh, taking precaution rather than, uh, you know, cure. So we also welcome uh, the specific health sector reforms that the government is undertaking. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. About two things. One is uh, convention and business conferences. I think Goa attracts a lot of interest in this and also spiritual tourism which uh, I think our own state government has been talking about and uh, they talked about uh, you know uh, basically innovative tourist centers and uh, she also talked about uh, giving special grants uh, in the form of loans and other uh, infrastructure facilities and developing a framework for rating of these centers I think this is a great opportunity for uh, Goa's tourism sector as well as the government uh, you know, Goa is already an international brand, but I think this will give a more fillip to the tourism sector. Uh, and I, I hope that the tourism sector gains uh, from this initiative. And I think she's also talked about fisheries. I think there has been special scheme for fisheries. We have to read the budget to understand the fine print. Uh, but uh, I think uh, fisheries was one more sector that was mentioned. So I think a lot of positives, uh, the continuation of the reform process, Structural reforms, balanced development, you know, where Goa could probably stand to gain. Uh, so all in all, I think, uh, you know, we are a bright spot in a very challenging world environment. And I think Goa has a unique position in terms of taking advantage of uh, various schemes that she's announced. So once again, we welcome the budget uh, and, uh, you know, we hope that the Goan business community at various levels uh, gains, gains from the various initiatives and incentives that she's talked about. So, and would you like to add anything? Yeah, I think uh, it, uh, this was an interim budget, so uh, there was always expectation that there would not be any kind of big bang announcements. Uh, it was an interim budget, so uh, there was always an expectation there would not be any big bang announcements. But as we are seeing, these are more of policy decisions, and and these and these budgets are becoming more like milestones to complete these kind of policy decisions as well as to. Uh, see how the, uh, to see how this kind of vision can be implemented. Uh, as far as uh, taxation is concerned, again there have been no surprises, which is a which is a very good step. And again, uh, a kind of a benefit has been given for startups for uh, certain taxation these things. Uh, again, in 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 Goa especially, usually there are processing issues uh, as far as uh, certain return processings are concerned. So sometimes there are those kind of demand which have been coming for a number of years. A small kind of a concession here is again really going to help Goa. So all in all, it's a it's a very good budget. Uh, we also see, uh, you know, where we actually supported in the past was uh, to continue with the GST reforms, and we are seeing, uh, you know, that the the depth has widened of, uh, you know, and uh, I think, uh, you know, if you see the collections, whether it is in Goa as well as well as uh, the rest of the country and in India, uh, the collections have been really really encouraging. So we, uh, we hope that, you know, the reforms in GST continues so that industry continues to benefit and becomes more competitive. Mr. Naik, Naik. is providing and completes the ongoing tourism project which are on. The specific to be, there is a convention center which is coming opposite uh, Parade and Bhavan. I hope we see the completion of it at the earliest. Add to that, the government had announced a bigger convention center at Donna Park. So I, we hope we will see the daylight uh, one of the uh, in the near future, which will help the growth of uh, tourism industry in Goa. Uh, secondly, the the scheme wherein they are talking about the connecting between the ports and the mainland. Of course, it was more specific to luxury pilot, but I think. Uh, if, if uh, those things are, you know, been uh, worked out with the, uh, in, in retail, I think Goa also need, can get benefit in big way. 
Uh, government has also talked about the growth in the aviation sector, which they have doubled from uh, almost uh, 75 airports to 149, and still the growth will come in. And what we have been seeing that Goa has been the MOPA coming in. They were talking about tier two and tier three city connectivity. Goa is already getting the more connectivity from tier two and the city, which is providing growth. And I hope that continues. Overall, I think we appreciate the efforts of finance ministry, and we hope full fair budget will have more than something more to offer to the overall tourism sector. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this budget is a continuation budget, and we hope this budget will bring in uh, more money in uh, people's hands in long term so that they can utilize for travel purpose. To be specific, in the, uh, for tourism, uh, I think government has emphasized on the safety of the railway, improvement of the uh, almost 40,000 bogies throughout the uh, uh, railway sector. I think it will upgrade the overall uh, railway sector and uh, it will promote more people to travel and definitely it will prepare the growth in tourism industry. Add to that, uh, government has talked about touristic center for 60 places. I think this is a good thing and I hope uh, Goa is able to take advantage of it. Uh, of course, Goa is in forefront in the MICE business and uh, I hope in the detailed uh, analysis of the budget, there is something specific for uh, MICE uh, tourism, that is the meeting incentives, conferences. Uh, add to that, uh, we also uh, have been uh, requesting government on the for promotion of inbound tourism. So we hope in the interim budget, means the full track budget, there is some specific in the promotion of inbound tourism into Goa. So that is that not only brings in the uh, foreign exchange, but it brings in overall uh, growth in all the sectors, and it helps circular economy in big way. Uh, as far as the uh, uh, infrastructure is concerned, I think, uh, as uh, Mr. President just said, uh, I hope our government takes advantage of the long term loan. And budget session highlights the lack of poor women, youth, and farmers. That's a good thing. I have a budget. 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 Takal Abun Tani, Kukshu Yojana, Tani Chakati Kelyasa, the she's women entrepreneurs. Women and Chil Tani Ku stress the loss of current Tani Purelaki, women and the piles are for a Sarah Zalat, Ani Kuk, Udurgat Zao Shakta, and Amcha Amasa Indian Kukshu women entrepreneurs as a Puntaka the Karana Shika Shaki department. So they have given a helping hand and Tachak Takal Abun the Tamcha Bailo Ata, Pudeo Shukulo. फक्त <laughs> That is a very good thing because they needed it. Young people to come into business in full swing, it takes some time. And the farmers also? Farmers, farmers are good. Uh, good schemes are not good. And farmers, farmers are not good. Farmers are not good. Farmers are not good. Farmers are not good. Farmers are Farmers are not good. So we know what it is and I am sure it will go uh, in another five years we will see another, another India which will be somewhere ahead. Thank you. Fifth the other food and third, second, salus as the So I, I am very happy with the budget and I welcome the budget. Thank you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Generation and uh, have not gone for any populist measure. But at the same time, this being an interim budget, we expect that there would be another budget which will be placed after the post-elections. 
but in this uh, budget, uh, the honourable finance minister has uh, promised to continue with the, uh, the process that has started for the last five years. Uh, whatever uh, you, you know, infrastructure building or uh, other uh, uh, incentives, especially in the various segments. In fact, what is more uh, uh, interesting is you know there has been an overall uh, development in all the segments in all the sectors, and that is what you know has been highlighted by the honourable finance minister. And uh, we are very happy that uh, most of the things are uh, you know kept uh, like tax structure is kept as it is, and also some benefits have been uh, given as far as the processings are concerned. And I'm sure this will go a long way in building up uh, the, uh, you know, the nation first. And secondly, this is actually a step towards the next trillion. So I'm sure we are in for growth and a growth-oriented budget to come. Thank you.